Eight years. Eight years and still no justice. That's the case for one Memphis family who lost a loved one in 2016. The accused killer is still waiting trial. Fox 13 has reported on slow justice where Shelby County's criminal courts are moving slower than they have in the past. And in this case, it's resulted in one of the longest stays in 201 Poplar, according to jail records. Fox 13 investigative reporter Kayla Solomon tells us now how the family of the victim is coping. Rico Smith and Edlyn Walker have an abundance of photos of Eddie Walker, the patriarch of their family. Funny, uh, energetic, uh, uh, I would say passionate, <laughs> very passionate. He was a native of Senatobia, Mississippi, even was given the key to the city and also a dear friend of Isaac Hayes. Everybody knew him, uh, he knew everybody. Smith and Walker say he loved the Pine Hill Golf Course, where Fox 13 met and interviewed his family. They say Eddie Walker loved his neighborhood, loved Piccadilly's, and loved his security guard job that he worked late into the night, even at 83 years old. He worked that job one night in August of 2016, the night he was shot and carjacked. He came home, it was 12 o'clock, the street light in front of the house was out, so he couldn't see and he decided to park on the street. Uh, he had a 2005 Ford Taurus. When he got out of the car, two young guys just approached him with a gun, shot him in the stomach, and took his uh, Ford Taurus. Didn't even take the wallet. Walker would die in the hospital days later. I have an 83 year old man that I've known all my life that's gunned down in some senseless act that I can't explain that gets me very upset. The same day Walker was shot, his stolen car was involved in a crash in DeSoto County. Brothers Ladarius and Devonell Montgomery were captured after a chase. Devonell pleaded guilty to unrelated carjackings in 2020. He served a federal prison sentence and is currently in state prison in Whiteville, Tennessee. Ladarius Montgomery was eventually charged with the carjacking and murder of Walker. To this day, he's still in jail at 201 Poplar. It's been eight years. It's been 2016. It's 2024. We don't have any justice. Ladarius Montgomery was charged with first degree murder, especially aggravated robbery, carjacking, and employment of a firearm to commit felony days after the murder. He was indicted by a grand jury in November of 2017. Since then, Montgomery has had at least two different defense attorneys, and the journey to his trial has run into several roadblocks. We had a uh, bad cop named, I think it was Eric Kelly, who did some illegal activity that tainted the case. Former Memphis Police Lieutenant Eric Kelly was one of the investigators in Eddie Walker's homicide. Police say Kelly slept with a witness in a different case, compromising that criminal investigation. Kelly retired from MPD in 2019 before eventually pleading guilty to official misconduct in 2021. The case against Ladarius Montgomery and several others were stuck in limbo until Kelly's criminal proceedings played out. Then another roadblock, changing judges. First, it was criminal court judge Mark Ward. He lost the election to Melissa Boyd. She was suspended from her seat in 2023 and ultimately forced to resign over a criminal charge and drug use. For a year and a half, Ladarius Montgomery's court dates were pushed back. Records show his case was transferred to yet another judge this past June, the third criminal court judge to oversee this one case. I feel helpless at this point. I'm pleading out for some type of help. I don't know where it will come from. Fox 13 took these concerns to District Attorney Steve Mulroy, who inherited this case in 2022. At that point, it was already six years old. It is unacceptable. Um, I, you know, I definitely uh, feel for the, the victims who have to wait this long. No case should take that long. Mulroy has previously spoken about the 500 day list, cases that have not been tried or progressed in more than a year. The district attorney told Fox 13 when he took office in late 2022, he inherited nearly 700 cases on the 500 day list. Some of the progress has been identifying cases that really aren't properly listed on the 500 day list. So for example, there are some duplicate cases. There are cases that actually have been resolved but were never purged from the system. We've gotten it down to where there are less than 100 defendants who are legitimately on the 500 day list. 
For every one of these cases, there's a victim or their family waiting on slow justice. I've been praying to God every day for eight years to get some help. I feel like granddad is in my corner. He can't speak, so I'm gonna speak for him and fight for him. Currently, Ladarius Montgomery is set to go to trial in November. Fox 13 will keep tracking that case and will continue investigating slow justice in our court system. Kayla Solomon, Fox 13 Investigates.